Good morning, boys and girls. Well, now that you've had a chance to sing Five Little Monkeys, you can join in by using your own instruments. Now, this past week we were talking a little bit in class about found sounds, or using ordinary objects you have around your house to make music. For example, I happen to go to my desk and pick up a box of thumbtacks. Notice, it makes a really cool sound. So I almost don't need to do anything, and I can shake it along with the music. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. And I just found a shaker. You can do this all around. I grabbed another item off my desk. This is called a Newton's Cradle. And if you start one of the balls clicking, it starts to make a nice, steady beat. Doesn't last very long, but... Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said... So, that's another way. But you can pick up just about any object. And I have a pencil and an old cup holder bank. And... Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Where you can even use objects like a chair. Now I have a scraper. Even something as simple as a piece of paper, or in this case a pad of paper. Sometimes it's just a single sheet of paper. So you can make all sorts of sounds with just ordinary objects around you. However, you can also build your own instrument. So I'm going to walk you through making your own shaker. So the first thing, you got to find an object, a some sort of container. It could be a jar. This is just a jar of soup. Uh, this is an old bank. I used it to keep, keep some pencils in or some spare change. Really, any container will do. Just depends on how big or small you want it. So I'm going to start with this metal can. You'll notice, depending on what it's made out of, the sound will change. So you may want to experiment with some different objects, some different containers. Then you want to fill it with something. In this case, I found some pennies. So I'm going to take and put those pennies inside it. Now the next part, you may want to ask your parents for some help. You need to cover up the open end of the container. One way, I just found some old cardboard from the recycle bin. I tilt it upside down. And I'm going to take a pen, or in this case I have my marker, and I'm going to draw all around it. Make sure you're on that cardboard. Ask your parents for help if you're not comfortable using the scissors. I'm just going to take and cut out that circle. Now if you're using a container like uh, Gladware or some sort of uh, container from your kitchen, it might already have a top and you wouldn't need to do this. So that's up to you, depending on what container you're using. But now, I have a lid. I take whatever the object is. I'm going to take my pennies, put them inside, put my lid on. Then, using tape or glue, I like to use tape just in case I want to change what's inside of it. There we go. In this case, I'm using some duct tape, but really any tape will do. Now, 
I'm ready to make some music. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now, the neat thing is, depending on what your container is made out of, you can also decorate it. You can put some stickers on it. You can add some faces. Add a little smiley face. So you can make it your own instrument. Now just to show you, shakers come in all different shapes and sizes from all over the world. This is one from Africa. This is actually from the country of Ghana. And you'll notice in this one, the beads are on the outside. So someone spent a long time tying all these little beads on the outside of the gourd. The gourd, it's a hard vegetable. Think like a pumpkin that got left outside and it got very hard. And all you do is you can shake it. Or I just rest it on my hands and I twist it. This is called an egg shaker, and you'll find these in a lot of music stores. And you just hold it between your thumb and your middle finger, and you shake. So a lot smaller makes a little quieter sound for a lot of songs. Well, there you go. Not only can you buy an instrument, but now you know how to make your own. So I hope you can join us in making some music. Have a wonderful day.